Growing up, my grandmother was the one in charge. She babysat my brother and I after school, alongside the rest of my ten cousins. Besides playing and doing our homework, she made sure we knew to finish all of our chores. Things are different now. It's been over a year since you left. I had just received my acceptance letter to transfer to SDSU. I was ready to finish up school like you always told me to do and become some sort of career woman. We knew you were getting weak. You couldn't take care of your garden like you wanted to. Then it happened. We saw your last breath. Every single one of your kids and grandkids. All of us. It wasn't until you were gone that I realized how big of an impact you left on me. You took care of all your grandkids while our parents were away at work. At least seven kids at a time, screaming that your hardwood floors were lava while you tried to watch TV. You were strict and we hated it sometimes, but we needed it. We grew up to be strong, resilient, and respectful. I'm about to graduate now. It's crazy how fast time has gone by. But you seem still, frozen in time, always grandma. And then you were gone. Just like that. I spent my first couple months at SDSU wondering if I could do it. If I could somehow power through days where all I wanted to do was cry in bed. Things are okay. It stings a little less, but still hurts down where it really matters. I'm just thankful for the time I got with you. Thankful for you molding me into who I am. I hope I make you proud. Even if you still think my dress is too short. Sorry, Lola. <laughs>